Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, and Charles Darwin all had the same amount of hours in their days as we do. And yet, we find it so difficult to make time for our goals, work, and personal lives. Well, in reality, there are ways that we can optimize our lives using science in order to increase our productivity given our limited time. In this video, we'll show you exactly how. Let's begin. Number 1. The Ultradian Rhythm This is a concept that has been extensively researched and even mentioned by Dr. Andrew Huberman in some of his podcasts. The Ultradian Rhythm is essentially a cycle in our brain which alternates between about 90 minutes of high-frequency brain activity followed by about 20 minutes of low-frequency brain activity. So, how can you use this to your advantage? Well, the Ultradian Rhythm gives us insight into how long our work sessions and breaks should be. If we aim for 90 minute work sessions, we can ensure that we hit maximum productivity without going too easy on ourselves or burning ourselves up. Furthermore, on especially busy days, you can use the 20 minute component of this rhythm to either relax or take a power nap. By developing an understanding of your brain's capabilities and limitations, your productivity will soar. Try this technique out and comment down below if it works for you. Number 2. Intermittent Fasting in simple terms, intermittent fasting involves eating within a fixed window. This window can range several hours, maybe 9am to 6pm, and it is meant to help you enhance your physical and mental health. If you decide to begin intermittent fasting, we highly recommend placing your work sessions outside of your eating window. Perhaps you can get your work done in the window between 7am and 9am, and maybe close off the workday with a session after 6pm. Doing this will not only allow your work sessions to be more focused and productive, but this divide between eating and working will also help you live a life that is more intentional and organized. To learn more about intermittent fasting so that you can begin with a concrete plan, we recommend reading some articles from reliable sources like Healthline or Mayo Clinic. Before we move on to the final tip, we want to give you a special offer. If you're a student or worker that wants to level up their physical traits while still having time for other aspects of their life, consider checking out our full-length Looks Maxing playbook linked in the description below. Now, let's get back into the video. Number 3. Stick to a fixed sleep and wake up window. We talked about the ultradian rhythm earlier on, but now we're focusing on the circadian rhythm. You can think of this as your body's internal alarm clock. It is precisely the reason why jet lag exists. Your body doesn't understand that you're in a new time zone, so it takes a while to adapt to new sleeping and wake up times. But believe it or not, we are actually jet lagging our bodies by having inconsistent sleep and wake up times. This is why we strongly encourage you to pick a realistic sleep and wake up window and commit to it. You can start out with a wider window. Maybe you want to get into bed between 10.30 and 11pm and then wake up between 7 and 7.30am. As the habit begins to stick, shorten the window. We understand that life can be unexpected and things may come up. The important thing is that you succeed when it's possible and that you don't stress out about the days where surprises come up. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you gained value from today's video, then we would greatly appreciate it if you could give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in joining a like-minded group of individuals who are also on this journey of personal growth and productivity, check out our Discord server linked in the description below. We wish you the best of luck in improving your productivity, and we'll see you next time.